Your logic is that I can only be responsible for my government. Well, your government has turned a blind eye to the murder of nearly two million Christians in South Sudan who fought, who fought against an Islamic Jihad for 18 years. They had to wear special belts that meant that everyone could see that they were a Christian and that's what happened in the medieval period. Tell me, what European power in the 1940s did that to Jews? Answer? Answer! You're trying to... Uh, what, go on, what am I trying to do? Popularise the oh, extreme, go on. Here's, here is where he puts me to the extreme trying, right. Go on. Well, this is what you're doing. You're popularising you the extreme <laughs> The youth of our country have been conditioned by the liberal state so that they are ideologically, in their mind, incapable of forming a polemical or historical or political critique of the ideology of Islam. Brother asks, how did the word of Mary Magdalene get out without the use of the Gnostic Gospels that talk about her? The answer to this is simple. If you had known your history, your culture and your identity. But liberals are separated from the history of our culture. They don't know because this is the question that Christians from Sunday school can answer when they're children. Mary Magdalene is mentioned in the Gospels that we Christians call canonical. And they were called canonical because they were accepted as being ancient early works, as being connected to the apostles, and being recognized by the church at large and because they agreed with what the church was teaching when it established the canon. The Gnostic Gospels of Mary Magdalene, by contrast, were recognized by Christians as being of late authorship with no connection to the apostles were not widely recognized by the church and by teaching things that were contrary to the teaching of the church and thus they were rejected from the canon and we do not accept them it wasn't that we didn't know about them we did because we were debating the Gnostics at the time who were quoting these books and we were refuting them, quoting our own. So all of this mythical nonsense you hear in popular culture that these were hidden books rediscovered recently is a lie. Next question. Next question. Any more questions or are we wrapping it up? One more question. Make a good one because I'm stopping after this. So the same things that you just claimed about the, uh, the book of Mary's book could be said about the book of John, the book of Matthew. Like they're all after the fact. They're all written after the fact. So why, is, why are these books by men given preferential treatment? and the book of a woman hidden. It seems to me like men wanted, it seemed to me like the men wanted to create a patriarchal society and they did that around religion by only including men as voices that were worthy of hearing. What is your opinion on that? Okay. If you want to hear me move a bit closer because I'm not going to shout anymore, I can't. So in answer to the question, the, the reality is that the, the, the Gospels that we recognize, you can't say the same about the Gospels that I recognize as we do about Mary Magdalene, because the church was quoting those books as early as the early part of the first century, which is, that that's between the year one, 100 to 120, okay? And they were, 
Yeah, no, that's the. Sorry, yes, you're right. Second century, my point. As early as the second century. Now, considering. Can I finish? Can I finish? Now, considering that the old scholarship agrees that the apostolic writings were completed by 90 AD, yeah. If they are then being quoted as early before 120 AD then that means that those Gospels are primitive literature. They're very, very early. And the community, can I finish my point? All history, all biography is after the fact. That is the nature of biography and history. Let me finish my point. Now, those, that literature grew up with and was created by the communities that believe the doctrines that you find in those Gospels such as the Gospel of Luke. If you read the beginning of the Gospel of Luke, it's very clear. It states that other people had written some accounts of what I'm writing about, and I'm writing it to you, Theophilus. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. So, so, that, so that he's writing to Theophilus, and Theophilus was called a friend of God which meaning he was writing to a Christian, so it's a Christian writing to a Christian about accounts kept within the Christian community, which means that these accounts are connected to the first apostles, because the time span is so short. Now, in terms of, let me finish, let me finish. So, so, let me finish. So these Gospels were being quoted early, they were written primitively, they were quoted extremely early. They were known by the church. The church recognized them was using them. They were being copied and copied and copied very quickly. It's called the tenacity of the text. By contrast, Mary Magdalene, the, 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 the works that you're referring to that talk from Mary Magdalene, they don't appear anywhere. No one talks about them, writes about them, or uses them until late third, so until middle third century, late uh, second century, and then, then, and then, let me, let me finish with no, 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 I'll move away from you if you interrupt. I'll, I'll, I'll let me I'll finish. Let, you, let, you let me finish. Yeah. yeah. So all of these documents, all of these documents. There's no. The late, right. Okay. I'm going to move. If you, no, no. I'm moving away from you. If you want to talk to me, talk to me. Stop being rude. Let him Stop being rude. Stop being rude. No, you did this to me before. You forced your way into your own Yeah, because right. Because he can't handle the truth. Do you want to talk to him? No, no. To a hundred and ten. Are you talking to him or to me? To right, 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 talk to you. Honestly, I really want to listen to you. Yeah. So, so, I really so, want to listen so, to you. so, when, yeah, if you could let, stop heckling, he's heckled me before. No, I know, I know. He's heckled me before, and that's why I'm moving away from him. Because he's rude. He's rude. No, no, he's rude. No, honestly, honestly. Right, you're talking to him. Come with me. I want to listen to you. Come with me. Right, so, so. The, 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 the Gospel of Mary Magdalene was much, much later. No one talks about it, quotes it, or uses it. But the absence of evidence doesn't mean it exists. Right, it's true. No right, there's no, there, no community was using it either. No community. The Christians, the Christians start to argue with the Gnostics around the, the middle, the, the later point. The later point. Now, what the brother tries to argue is, is using the line of uh, the arguments of scholars like Bart Ehrman, which says that because the original autographs were lost of the, the New Testament argument, which they were, they are lost, they were written on papyrus, which is uh, organic material, so it can't survive 2,000 years. Because those autographs are lost, Bart Ehrman says, we cannot know if the Gospels that I believe in were the original. And it's true, we cannot know because we don't have the autographs. But not being able to know is not the same as saying you've proven that it isn't. But you're, you're saying that you've proven yeah. that it is. Like, what, I'm, what I'm saying... Until just now, like, right. when you're on your soapbox, you're no, no. saying that you know that Islam is false no. because of this. And this, these, these uh, Dead Sea Scrolls proved no, the, the Old, Old Testament. Testament. Okay. We're talk, now we're talking about the New Testament. So the, the point is, with regards to the New but Testament... there's nothing proving the, the, the Quran in your own words. Yeah, there's, there's plenty of the no, proofs. Well, I, I've got my own proofs, but your reason here is, isn't proof. You're apologist for Islam now. So, who, 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 who
So this is this is what happens when weak men fit into atmospheres in which there are strong forces. They mould themselves to the strongest. Sheep follow the strong. So right. So the point. The point. The, the, the point. Neither do you. It apparently. So the point. The point. The point that I'm making to you is that. The academic argument that we cannot know is not the same as that we've proven that it isn't. And what I'm saying is I have good reason to believe um, that's better language. That is what, that's, that, that is what I've been saying. I have good reason to believe that the Gospels, as we find them, is how the church wants us to have them. Because you've got to understand something, brother. My faith is not built upon the book. Everything that I believe came before the book. The book just captures what I believe. It's like a photo. Yeah. Well, I can appreciate that mentality. Like, so, I, I don't believe in free will. And then I started okay. reading books about so, free will yeah. and realizing, oh, people yeah. wrote books about free will. So, like, I, I, understand, I appreciate that argument. Just like but at the same time, like I say, I, I'm interested in religion. I studied it. I, I'll protect your right. I'll protect any Christian's right to believe what they want. Like, I'll protect any Muslim's right. To to what I see with my own eyes today are Muslims being persecuted by the far right uh, and hate crimes are increased against them. Uh, right. So let's just let's just let's just deal with a couple of points. Firstly, let's be clear. If you want to authentically engage with the Christian faith, yeah, then you have to engage with the fact that a group of people in the first century were convinced that a man rose from the dead, and that they were so convinced, many of them went on to die for it, and then later on, because of that inspiration, they then wrote about it. So my faith is not built upon any criticism of the Bible like this brother's did. No so the fact the fact no written evidence. the fact that we don't have complete copies until much later, which is what this brother's gonna say. Three yeah? nine right? years later. Right, it is, is is immaterial. Because what I believe because what I believe existed before the books were written about. It. And you've got to explain and so does he where that belief came from. That's the question I would leave with you as you go away. Now to address, now, 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 now to address, now to address, once again, your, your, your willingness to speak against Islamophobia, but your silence about Christophobia. I'm talking about one second, one second, one second. I know, one second, I know, one second, I know personally, they are ignorance, utter ignorance. In go, the same and, oh my gosh, go, go, go and look at what ISIS did to the Christians in Syria. No, our yeah. government, go our and government. look, go our and government. look at what the Egyptian what government, government doing it doesn't want to deal with it, does he? No, no, because it I doesn't can't want to control deal what the Egyptians are doesn't doing. Want to deal with it. doesn't I can want to control deal what our government are doing. Right? Look, go and look what the Egyptian government is doing to the Christians in Egypt. Go and look at what the Pakistani government is doing to the Christians of Pakistan. I'm talking about this country. If only, if only you naval gazing, virtue signaling hypocrites could actually. But but it enrages me. It truly does. It truly does enrage me that you are willing to ignore the plight of one evil to one community I'm just because it's you. over there. No, I'm not ignoring it. Do you I'm believe we saying, should let should let saying, do you I, believe we should let refugees into Europe? Can I just uh, uh, explain my position again thing about the theocratic regime in Egypt? or the government in Pakistan. But I can do something about my own community and the government that are, that are supposed to be responsible to me. The Egypt aren't responsible to me. I can't go over there and start telling them, hey, Egypt, stop killing Christians. So you you so I it doesn't even try. What do you mean? Are you telling me you can't tell your government to tell the Egyptian government to stop killing Christians? I mean but your logic is, I am, I am, I am, okay. I am your logic okay. is, okay. your logic okay. is, I'll tell you your logic that. is, one second, I'll tell you your, logic is, your logic is, your logic is, that I can only be responsible for my government. Okay, I'll tell well, your government has turned a blind eye to the murder of nearly two million Christians in South Sudan, okay, who fought, who fought against an Islamic Jihad for 18 years. Okay, How long have you been alive? 
uh, a bit longer than that. Right. Can I Did you speak up about it? I spoke up about uh, Saudi Arabia and their oppressive regime. I've uh, emailed a couple of times to my uh, uh, local MP. To what, what, what specifically? To voice my, uh, what specifically uh, were you arguing against? Be clear. I mean, don't uh, be general. What specific examples did you use? Let's see if he spoke up for Christians. What specific examples? I mean, I be okay, honest. I am. I'll, I'll be honest. I am unaware of the millions of Christians, but that's not through <laughs> choice. Like I was ignorant to the fact that a job existed that was that was uh, beneficial to me and what I love to do now until someone told me about it. So now that you've told me about it, I can now go and look up how many Christians have died and maybe I can then speak about it. Instead of being so antagonistic and saying, why haven't you done this? Hey, I'm sorry, I'm ignorant to it. It's not in the news every day. Isn't I can't read every single newspaper. I can't check on Christians. Oh, how are they doing? But this how is my Hindus point doing? to you, bro. Like, is, this is my point to you bro I said to you when you were accusing me of using ad hominem that you were a sheep that uncritically and counterfactually just received the information of the media that were given to you without thought or criticism and the fact of the matter is the liberal media does not want to tell you about the persecution of Christians because if they did it would feed into the narrative that they are trying to create. Sorry, it would work against the narrative that they are trying to create, which is that all religions can be equally bad and that all religions really mean and believe the same thing and have the same values. And if they were to point out how for 1400 years, did you get that? 1400 years, every single Islamic state society, empire and caliphate has subjected Christians to a position of dimitude that would work against the narrative that they want you to believe in. So what, how, Learn your history. Okay, so Learn about the Ottomans years, in Eastern Europe. For 1400 years, how often did uh, Christians attack the Jews through the Crusades and did Islam protect the Jews? No, they didn't they do, protect the Jews. They, yes, they did. No. Do you know what happened in Andalusia? Of course he doesn't. Okay. Why? Because he's a no, brainwashed I'm gonna let, uh, No, I'm going to let you finish and then I'll tell right. you how they did. Right. So what, what, what happened? What happened in Andalusia is that um, Muslims would reduce Christians and Jews to second class citizens. If you don't believe me, go and look up the martyrs of Cordoba. Go and look about how the Islamic State suppressed the martyrdom movement in Cordoba. They basically said to the Christians, if you don't stop this movement, we're going to kill you all. Every one of you. Yeah? That was that was Islamic tolerance in Andalusia, in Spain. I'm not gonna They rioted again they had they rioted against the Jews in Andalusia and killed five thousand in the space of a week. Because a caliph who was not particularly religious put a, a Jew into a position of authority and it was a scandal that a Jew should have authority over a Muslim. Okay? Did now, you, did, did, are there no Jews in when, uh, political power you, you talked in, the, about the Crusades. in the Middle East at the moment? Yes. You talked, well, yeah, many. in Israel. In Israel. Oh, no, yeah. not just in, in Israel. In, and Christians. In, and Christians. In, and Christians. in un, under so the, under under the Ba'athist regime, yeah. But not under, not, no, you go and look at what happens in Egypt. Christians are treated as second class citizens. In Pakistan, they're treated as second class citizens. Doesn't seem to matter how many times I tell him this, he comes out with the same liberal rhetoric. Oh, it's all okay over there. It is not okay over there. You have been blinded I said it was to reality. Over there. I just said I'm not going to defend oppressive regimes. You said it was crusade. <laughs> you okay, talked can about I, the crusade. Can I, can I answer that question about the Jews? So, uh, do, who do uh, Christians hold responsible for the death of Jesus? The Jews that the were Jews. in authority at the so, time. So, there's this uh, built up hatred from Christianity towards the Jews because of that. And it was Islam. This is from an uh, article in the Jewish Chronicle written by a Jew. Islam saved Jewry, and if it wasn't for Islam, there would have been no Holocaust. They no, took, they took. Okay, this is an ex-Muslim speaking. Okay, okay. Oh, no, I appreciate that. I'm not. But he's not listening. Are you getting? Ex-Muslim. 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 Ex-Muslim.
people being enslaved and sexual slaves that were captive on earth. And they couldn't even pray in their church. They so you're trying to tell me that the Christian churches will never spread Christianity sir, by the sword? No, sir. Let me tell you one thing. I'm not saying that none of us has been perfect. But as a Christian, neither a Jew nor a Christian, but not, none of us have been perfect. But you have to give the credit, the history tells us, that Judaism and Christianity, the, our word owes a lot to, to these two Abrahamic Right? Jesus Christ never told them to pick up a sword or a game by No, no, no that, there's, that's there's one. There's one. Oh, yes, I, I, will, I can see what you're coming on. Uh, I think Bob uh, will be able to say uh, uh, Matthew 10:35. Yeah. I don't know specifically. Yeah, I, I, know I know that. that. Jesus Christ is not saying to go pick up and sword kill them. He's a sword you need to be Brother, and then you have can, I, can I show you something? Yes, you say that you're opposed to discriminatory or democratic regimes, right? Yes. Right. So if their values come from a religious book, will you oppose the book? Show, show me the, show me the book. Oh, no, Answer the question. I, I already opposed the book. So there's no need. Yeah, but for that. will you? No, no, no. Will you oppose the, the book? Will you? I will defend someone's right to will, will Will you oppose the book if it teaches what we're trying to talk? What we're telling you? About? I oppose the Christianity for the same reason. Right. Did you notice that, ladies and gentlemen? Friends. I will. Yes. No, no. Hold yes, on one I second. Will. I will. He said. I he said. He said. I will oppose Christianity for the same reason. I already do. I said. I said to you. I said to you. Because you're trying to make it out that the Quran is the worst thing. I said to you. I said to you that the liberal believes that all religions can be equally as bad. And there you go. He has been brainwashed by the state to believe something that is false. Because right, show me this verse in the Bible. Fight those who believe not in Allah, nor the last day, nor hold that forbidden which hath been forbidden by Allah and his prophet, nor acknowledge the religion of truth which is Islam, even if they are people of the book, which is a reference to Jews and Christians, until they pay the jizya with willing submission and feel themselves subdued. That word subdued can also be translated as humiliated. Can I just read oh. Where Bob said fight those, it says kill those, not fight those. They translated as fight those. And what's the Arabic? Kill. Did you hear that? Kill. Did you hear that? So in future, Bob, when you translate this, they have watered it down. They've watered it down. They've watered it down. That's an ex-Muslim speaking. Kill them. Did you hear that? Whenever you find you a that? word... What, uh, what verse is that? this? 29... Surah 9, 29. Surah 9, 29. 29. Now Whenever here's what... You the, no, but do you know what that is specifically Quran, talking about? Here we go, here we go. Here we go, the apologists now. No, go on. no. In the, it's, go on. Not, it's not saying all... Oh, oh, he's an expert. Go on, go on. Go on, correct me. Correct me, I'm wrong. Go on. No, because defend, it's been, it's defend been, the persecution. It's been a long time, but where, like, defend the persecution that we Christians have suffered for 1400 years. No, no, no. Defend the aggression that we Christians have suffered for 1400 years. I'm going to say that not all Muslims believe that to be a call to... I agree! So there are many Muslims who don't take their book seriously. No, no, their no, conscience no. is better than they, their book. They, they read I it, agree with they, you. They read it in a historical context where they're talking, they will be talking about specific people who are attacking Muslims. Right. The Muslims are outnumbered. Lurk doesn't say that. No, of course it doesn't, doesn't say, that say that in that sentence. Lurk doesn't say that. There's right. a whole book but here's the thing, sentences though. before and after. Here's the bro, here's the thing bro, Christians have experienced 1400s of Islamic aggression. They invaded the Christian Middle East. They invaded yeah, Christian North Africa. They invaded oh, Christian oh, Spain. Oh, oh, they invaded oh, Christian oh, Eastern oh, Europe. Oh, they were inspired by this verse. They were chanting this verse as they went into battle. They were chanting this verse to Christians as they slew them, as they kidnapped their children. I agree with you. Not all Muslims today follow this verse. Why? Not gonna... Because their conscience is better than their book. In the same but I am way not criticizing not Muslims, I'm criticizing Islam. Well, you should criticize your own book for, the, uh, for the, the way that it was used to justify the killing of Jews. Like, uh, 
because of what they did to Jesus. Let me just quote. Me, I want so to quote. Why from can't you. you treat the Quran like you treat the uh, the Bible? They both have violent verses, and they've both been used to uh, justify. War show and me. And all right. So show me in the New Testament where it tells me to kill you for not believing what I believe. Because I've just showed you in the Quran where it shows you a Muslim to kill to kill a Christian and Jew for not believing what they believe. Not believing. Not believing. So show me that in the New Testament. You clown. Liberal progressive clownmanship at its best. Right. Oh. right, I want to, just while he's finding that, I want to read from the work The Andalusian Myth. Because we are being spun a lie in the West. So the, 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 one second. The Battle of Tabuk. One is second. The, is the thing you're, one uh, second. One I second. I can find you many, many more verses that say the there is no compulsion in religion. There, so is, there is no compulsion in religion. That you, you should not transgress. Tabuk. Sorry, what's the punishment in, in Sharia law for leaving Islam? There is no punishment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. What, is, what is the law for leaving? What is, what is brother, ex Muslim? Ex Muslim, are you listening? What is the law, uncle, in Islam for leaving Islam? Uh, very good question. Quran has no name for its religion and its followers. They are slaves of Allah. Arabic word Islam means surrender. And nothing more, nothing less. So they are not children of God like Bible followers. Sorry, are. uncle. So, no, just I'm on sorry. the law of the but, 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 but it is because these Arabs misrepresented the Quran outside Arabia. So through fatwas, they kill somebody if he leaves. Okay, so uh, the hadith One is second. Okay, one second. Because he's saying that he's saying that he's going to show me in the Quran where it talks about um, no compulsion in religion. But in Islam, in Islam, it teaches if you leave the religion of Islam, you can be killed. That's Sahih al Bukhari. You don't know what you're talking so about. He just mentioned the hadith. I'm going to go directly to the Quran, which is uh, first. The hadith is secondary. Okay, I've got a single verse of peace in the entire. I've got, I've got numerous. I've got numerous. Here in the Quran, so show me a single verse of peace. Chapter 24, verse 54. Single verse of peace in the entire. Surah what? What surah? Uh, chapter 24, verse 54. Obey Allah and obey the Messenger. But if ye turn away, he is only responsible for the duty placed on him. And ye for that Sorry, placed on you. My apologies. 2424. No, 2454. 2454. So obey Allah. I'll let you find it. <laughs> obey Allah and yeah. obey the Messenger. But if ye turn away, he is only responsible for the duty placed on him, and ye for that placed on you. If ye obey him, ye shall be on right guidance. The Messenger's duty is only to preach the clear message. So, no, you can what you read Surah 5, Another verse one, chapter 18, verse 29. Let him who wishes to believe do so, and yeah. let him who wishes to disbelieve do so. You have no yes. contradiction. He doesn't know. 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 He doesn't know that you were talking about. So and they're talking about specific so non-believers. The, the, no, so all hold on. Here's, here's one second. Can I can I deal with you? Here's why we know this brother is wrong. Because I will if, here's why I will we know this Bible brother is wrong. Here's why we know the brother is wrong. It's because for 1400 years, if this non-Muslim liberal progressive is right, Muslims have been misunderstanding their own holy book. <laughs> Because for 1400, and he says yes, this is the arrogance of the man. So for 1400 years, Muslims have misunderstood their book, which says go out and fight the unbeliever. And they did go out and fight the unbeliever. And they invaded Christian lands and they murdered Christians and they conquered our territories and they took our children as slaves, all because of a giant misunderstanding. And the Hadith, and the Hadith. Now notice, he hasn't found me a verse from the New Testament, like I asked him, to tell, show me where in the New Testament it says, I am to kill you for not believing as I believe. Surah 5, verse 33. 5, 33. And we will also link up with 32. Right. Surah 5, verse 33, on the basis of the uncle's testimony. The punishment of those who wage war against Allah and his messenger and strive with might and main for mischief through the land is execution or crucifixion or the cutting off of hands and feet from the opposite side or exile from the land. That is their disgrace. That is their disgrace in this world and a heavy punishment is theirs in the hereafter. Except for those who repent 
before they fall into your power. In yeah, that case, no. So in other words, fight them if they are causing mischief in the land. And if you overpower them and they convert before you overpower them, then you'll be merciful. So that means, and that's what Muslims did. They invaded Christian Europe in the East. They invaded Christian Europe in Spain. They invaded lands that were not their own. They fought against the unbelievers that were the Christians and the Jews. And they took our children as slaves into the Middle East. And you are ignorant of the history. And you no, no, think I, I you the history. What and what I'm about the hadith? Gonna, what about the hadith that gonna, says gonna, what about Sahih al Bukhari that says if a Muslim you can kill a Muslim for one of three reasons. One, if he kills unjustly. Two if he commits adultery, three, if he leaves the religion of Islam. Does that sound like compulsion to you? That's the hadith and that is a contradiction to notice the Quran. He, no, he did, yeah. Notice he didn't answer the question. Oh, good. Is that compulsion? I mean, I'm not going to defend. Are you going to answer the question I'm not or not? I'm going to defend a press regime. I'll ask you the third time in a row. Is it compulsion? The way you put it, that sounds like compulsion. That sounds like compulsion. Now, here's the thing he's ignorant of. No Muslim, no Muslim would argue that this wasn't Sahih. No Muslim would argue that this doesn't apply. I give you contradiction within the Quran if you read 33 and 32. Oh, you're Shia? Yeah, okay, my apologies. Wait, wait, it's, it's good that he corrected me. The Shia do reject Sahih al-Bukhari. Which shows, which shows some Muslims, 10%. What are you going to do about the other 90? So, the, uh, disputed, disputed. So, the point of the matter is, yeah, you say that you're opposed to political oppressive regimes. Yes. Why are you not opposed to the oppressive teachings of the book? Because you're taking that out of context. I will defend Christianity in the Bible in the same way. So that show I've been me, I'll ask you again. Show me in the New Testament where it commands me to kill someone for not believing. Because I showed you in the Quran. So fair is fair. No, but you said they're all the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show him the Ten Commandments. You does, said, does I would oppose Christianity for the same reason. So now show me where we have that. Show me. So that's take, I totally told you that the one that you showed me was the Battle of Tabuk, where Muslims were being oppressed and attacked by many, many more. Nobody attacked them. Uh, Nobody attacked them. No, 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 they fled you. to Medina and I then tell, started attacking the Meccans. You, you don't know your no, history. No, 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 no. You, sir, Why would 100 no, 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 new Muslims no, 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 go and attack a population of thousands? Listen, listen. Yes. Show me where. Show me the verse. Have you got the New Testament? No. Show us the New Testament verse. Show me the verse. Where did you hear that? He hasn't got a New Testament verse. Oh, the man no, no, no. said, I would argue against Christianity for the same reason, yeah, yeah. so now show me the same well, reason in the Bible. What, what's the verse oh, wow. with the, uh, Sorry? What was that? What I'm verse? You. you know it better than me. What's the, what, what's the verse about uh, where Jesus talks I'll about the sword? That. I'll tell you that. That verse you are in Matthew, Matthew chapter yeah. 5, verse 5. So, have, you, have you got it? You Google search the Battle of Tabuk, Google search your verse. No, because I wanted to correct your nonsense. Like, I will correct nonsense <laughs> if someone tells me something so, wrong. So, so I'm correcting your nonsense now. <laughs> well, I'm because telling you. You said, <laughs> you said that I would oppose Christianity for the same reason. Yeah, you that. So if all religions can be equally bad, yeah. oh liberal progressive, yeah. virtue signalier, I, please okay. show me where in my book it commands me to kill you for not believing as I believe, just as I showed you in the Quran where it commands Muslims to kill the Alim al Titab for not believing in Islam. So, I don't think there's a single verse in the Quran that promotes violence against. If there was no sword, let me sum up about one here. If there was no if there was no sword, you would be in the middle of Medina. There was no sword. He cannot just read a sentence out and say it commands violence. They're telling a story. They're telling a story which you're just taking on a word out. If I, it's, it's, not, a it's not a story, it's, it's a way of living. It's a story. It's it a isn't. story. Uh, it isn't a story. It's a story as well as uh, no, it brother, directions. You have been live. conditioned by our liberal state so that you are incapable anything. of forming a historical Why can you not critique give the agency of Islam. In my own mind? Because, because you have demonstrated no agency. You have simply repeated the rhetoric of the liberal state and you have done state. so blindly. The liberal state, the liberal state is the liberal, what educated you. The, the owners of the media are all powerful right-wing nutjobs. So there's no <laughs> liberal state. What a goofball. Dude, what, come on. Murdoch, right. is he liberal? Listen, George Soros, he is said, he liberal? He said that I gave you a verse out of context, so I'll give you another one. Oh, prophet, rouse the believers to fight. 
if there are 20 amongst you, do you remember when he said, why would a hundred go and fight thousands? Here's why. I'm correcting you. O oh, prophet, rouse the believers to fight. If there are 20 amongst you, patient and persevering, they will vanquish 200. If a hundred, they will vanquish a thousand of the unbelievers. For these are the people without understanding. That giving them is courage. why That's giving them courage. to go and raid the Meccans. To go and wage war against the pagan Meccans. Because that's what happened in history. Read, read, read. Stop defending Islam. Right. He is in denial. That, that, that statement just says to me, is if you haven't got enough power to fight as they're being attacked. To fight the army. So let me see, section 9, 65. Don't say anything until you get to that level, then say it. Oh no, it's not section 9. Sorry. Surah, Surah 8, 8 65. So you wait till you've got enough members, you've got right, we've got enough members now, now we'll do it. So the, the point is, the point is guys, our youth in this country have been conditioned by the liberal okay, I'm older state. I'm you. I have been conditioned by the you? liberal state. I'm not giving away my age. I've been conditioned by the liberal state. I have been conditioned by the liberal state. The youth have been conditioned by the liberal state. Thanks for the compliment. It is a compliment. Take it. Well, you, you'd be still a youth to a six-year-old. Have, have been conditioned by the liberal state, guys. So you're a youth. To okay, I'll talk to the camera. I'm not a youth. Sorry, sir. Guys, guys, listen. The youth of our country have been conditioned by the liberal state so that they are ideologically, in their mind, incapable of forming a polemical or historical or political critique of the ideology of Islam. And they will never ever get the education that they need from the liberals. That is why we need to rediscover a muscular Christian faith rooted in our own history, the history of the church. Because the church has experienced 1400 years of Islamic aggression, Islamic slave trading, Islamic reigning parties. We know what it means to be dominated by uh, an Islamic um, I uh, Islamist ideology. We know. And these liberals, they want to assume because their teachers tell them that all religions are capable of being equally good and equally bad because all religions teach the same thing. As we have seen, they do not. I am still waiting for a single verse from the New Testament that tells me to kill someone who believes not what I believe. Have you got the verse yet? You've been looking for nearly uh, 10 no, I'm minutes. Not, I'm not looking for that. I've not been looking at, for it <laughs> at all. He's not even looking. I've been looking at he's the context. He's making a claim, but he's been context. providing I'm no evidence. Up the context. So I'll ask you again. Show me in the New Testament where it commands me to kill those who don't believe I'm as I believe. It doesn't. And I'm there you go. There you go. It doesn't, but this does. Thank you very much. <laughs> we got there in the end. But I, if someone said that it did, I would defend the Bible in the same way that I'm defending the Quran. Because there's plenty of Muslims that don't believe that. And they've read the context. 15 years ago, I read the Quran front to back, and then I read it again. You never read the Quran. What do you want about? You, you never read, read the Quran. Quran. Can you read Arabic? Can you read Arabic? Okay, I didn't read it in Arabic. Oh, so you didn't read the Quran? I read a translation. Yeah, you did, exactly. You read a translation. No, but this depends on the I've got him, I've got him, I've got him. He read a translation that is written to be acceptable to a Western audience. So, okay. That's what he read. So what, uh, That's what he read. What translation of the uh, Bible do you use? Uh, I read the NASB. So is that not the same thing? I also read the. Is that not the same thing? No, we don't. We don't change our translations to suit a Western audience. The original written in Hebrew. It was written in Greek and Hebrew. Greek and Hebrew. Do you speak Greek or Hebrew? Does my faith depend upon the book? No. Well, the church. Exactly. No, it he doesn't. doesn't know. He's trying to make an <laughs> argument on. against the Christian faith based upon my critique of the Islamic faith and it doesn't follow because they're different religions. They teach different things, they have different values, they work through different systems. Can I, can I show you a stat that might uh, shed some light on uh, what I think the Quran uh, teaches? So, uh, it, 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 you need on. to say who, well, if you're yeah, reading in, in English, in a Gallic who, world, tra yeah, but yeah, who translated okay. it? I know. Because if you go around the park now, there's about five translations. It was 15 years ago that I studied it. So, um, well, you're in the park now, have you studied about the five Bible? different translations. Uh, not to the uh, same extent. So, so, so you've read the Quran from cover to cover, but you've not read the Bible? No, I've read a lot of it. But what have you read? What have you read? I've read most of the New Testament. Can you? Uh, but again, it was a long, a long time ago. Can Probably you 17, 18 years ago. Can I just give you a stat? Let me just give you the stat. I'll give some in, stats in, as well. In a, in a Gallup World poll in 2011, residents of the organized 
organized uh, organization of Islamic cooperation, the OIC, member states were less likely to justify the targeting and killing of civilians than residents of non-OIC states. So in uh, OIC states, 18% uh, believe military attacks on civilians justified and 14% believe individual attacks on civilians justified. In non-OIC states, 24% believe military attacks on civilians are justified. 17% believe individual attacks on, uh, on civilians are justified. So that tells me that the Quran isn't teaching violence, but it's teaching Muslims to be peaceful. And it, should, and it bears out in the facts. Except it doesn't stats. bear out in the facts. Because what happened in Syria, when ISIS came into Aleppo, the Muslim population greeted ISIS as they kicked out the Christians from that city. Okay, that's what happened. Okay, so that is what happened in Aleppo. There are countless, countless testimonies. One second, there are countless testimonies of Christians who had neighbours that they thought were friends who then turned on them just because ISIS gained power. What you don't understand... Because ISIS would have threatened what, no, what, what you don't understand... I'm not going to defend extremists. But you do defend extremism. No, I don't. Because you are seeking to rationalise the ideology that creates it. No, I'm trying to speak up for the moderate Muslims. I am... A, I am a, right, just to be clear. Because, you, 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 again, to, like all liberal progressives you aren't able to separate a critique of the religion from a critique of the people so I will make it black and white for you I accept that there are cultural Muslims whose conscience is better than their book I get that I believe the same and I don't agree with treating all Muslims as if they are the same because they most certainly are not however I have been critiquing the teachings of the religion and that religion has been consistently practiced by Muslim populations for 1400 years and the anomaly that you are trying to defend of the reformist Islam is a Western anomaly. It does not exist in Islamic history. How do you, how do you explain the fact that most Muslims, according to this poll, they're cultural, not practicing. Uh, so, in the same way, so in cultural the, in Muslims the same way, are better than, than practicing uh, Muslims. Than, than, but they're also better than non-Muslims. No, not yeah, 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 yeah. According to these stats, but if, if, if one second. Be entertained in Iran. It wouldn't be entertained yeah. in Pakistan. You wouldn't be stood in, in here defending Islam. Christians in Mecca. This no one happen. would tolerate yeah, that. Would. No, it wouldn't. No, in, no, it, it, really, I've really. I've spoken to other Iranians and Afghanis. No, actually, the, it would. the Iranian people yeah. are, are much more cultural yeah. than their okay. leaders. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Like, I'll, I'll but and actually, actually the Christian... Yeah, it's true. It's true. What he's saying is true. The Christian faith is exploding in Iran. That's Because the Iranians are rejecting Islam. That's why I'm not going to defend... Oppressive regime. Regime. Thank you for the correction. But I'm not going to uh, defend an oppressive regime. But you'll you'll defend an oppressive book. No, I'll defend the people who believe in that book. Again, and I have not criticized the people. I have criticized the book. Please trying, pay attention. When you're trying to uh, put this, uh, you're trying to. Uh, what? Go on, what am I trying to popularize the? Oh, go on. Here's, here is where he puts me into the extreme trying, right. Go on. Well, this is what you're doing. You're popularizing you the extreme <laughs> version. I've already said it. No, yeah, you're popularizing the extreme version instead of popularizing the people who say, no, that's not what it says. Right. This is what it so, says. Hold on. So you should be saying, hey, listen to my brother here. Now notice, saying that this notice, is not what it says. notice how the liberal progressive pulls out their desperate card. Yeah. Right. No, when you've got a liberal progressive on the ropes, they pull out the desperate card. You're extreme right. This is extreme right propaganda. I never said Brother, you're extreme right. You implied it. Brother, let's be clear. Uh, well, and you've implied Brother. that I'm a soy boy. And you I'm are right. a soy boy. Well, you are a soy boy. Well, if let's you're going to say clear. that, I'll, you're, you're far right. Right. Now here's the thing. Calling someone a soy boy is not is talking about their temperament and their sensibilities, not their beliefs. That's it's the an, difference an, between our two exchanges. It, it is an insult. So, so what have I insulted let, you? Let, let's just, let's just. I think I deserve to. Let, you can, I'm not afraid to be insulted. I'm not going to because right. I'm not going to stoop to so, a low level. So, as a Christian, let's, you shouldn't let's be insulting clear. me. Either. Don't try to define my faith for me. Yeah. That's cultural appropriation. You should be against that. <laughs> so my point to you is, bro, that 
Islam for 1400 years contradicts what you're saying. Islam as practiced and by Christianity Muslims contradicts what you're for, saying. What what have, and, and how, to, how it's where, been where how 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 God, God told George go Bush on. and Tony Blair to go, go and attack on. Iraq. That was their politics, not their religion at play. Yeah, okay, so... I, it, mentioned, I dealt so with that earlier. Can I, can I, can I, can 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 notice, can he doesn't actually no, no, deal no, with no, what I'm saying. No, no, can I... Hold on, hold on, can I... Can I just deal with this point? I just need to deal with this point. So, ISIS's politics, in their publications, they say what they're doing... The reason why they're doing it is because of their Western intervention. And I can prove that again with stats. Overall... Western intervention is responsible for ISIS. Listen, listen. nothing to do with the fact they quote... The Quran and listen, 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 ask, listen, please, ask, ask please, please, women in the Bible please, and women in the Quran. come on, let's not change topic just now. Overall, the foreign military occupation accounts for, so, out, so a guy called Robert Pape studied uh, all the suicide terrorist attacks in the world uh, between, for the six years of 2004 to 2009. So out of 1,833 suicide attacks, 98.5 of them were carried out in uh, countries that had foreign military, were occupied by foreign militaries. And 92% of those were occupied by American combat forces. So why is it that we see terrorists Terrorism, terrorism happening in foreign occupied countries okay. and not reply? in places like Iceland and I reply? other places like that. Can I reply? So, well, remember, 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 because they haven't made the mistake of the West. Exactly. Because, exactly. right. Yeah, exactly. They don't so, so let's, let's just, let's just remember what the critique is. Because, to clarify to you again, because I know you've now put me in that right wing bracket, I accept. No, I only said that. Because can I finish? You, I only said that because you called me So right. I'm just going to. I'm just going to. So, I don't think you're right wing, so, but you're using okay, their you. right I wing. That. Fine. Right. So I was arguing against what the book teaches. And I have been arguing that consistently Muslims have practiced the book according to a certain and series not, and of I've traditions. And I've continued to say I will and not defend that. And he has continued that. to say that this is not representative of 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 Muslims today. And the answer to that is because of um, cultural Islam is not the same as Islam practiced. To demonstrate the evidence of my argument, I will use the example of history, and I'm quoting from the Andalusian myth. Something that all you liberal progressives should pick up by and read. This is what the, it says in the book. Here's a scholar that's written, he's got a long Spanish name, I can't remember what it was. Although most scholars today do not dispute the primary source evidence of the Umayyad's brutal killing of these Christians, they point out the extremism, did you get that? Of the martyrs, i.e. the ones being killed. Philahidus, not, not that at all. of the presumably tolerant Umayyad rulers who ordered their slaughter. They have called these executed Christians fanatics, troublemakers, self-immulators. As that last term suggests, scholars have argued, in essence, that the Catholics or the Christians asked for it. They brought it on themselves by openly doing things clearly punishable by Islam. Thus the martyrs of Cordoba, which you need to read about, episode, has been turned into a scholarly version of blaming the victim. For example, one professor of medieval European history claims, to the extent that Muslims in Cordoba did actively persecute Christians, they did so after the martyrdoms began, not before, so that the martyrs movement was more likely the cause of ill treatment than a response to it. Another professor pointed out that our modern sensibilities and greater objectivity precludes any admiration of the Christians and revulsion at their Muslim killers. That is the kind of rhetoric that students are being taught in universities today. It is the kind of rhetoric that we've heard here today. And it is, can only be resisted if, as Christians, we rediscover our own history, the experience of our own culture, people and identity, and speak from that experience. Are you saying that the death of my brothers and sisters 
in every Islamic caliphate there has ever been, whether it's terrorist or not terrorist, including Mohammeds, is something that should not inform my view of Islam. That should inform your view of extreme. Answer the question I am asking, not the one you're making me ask. I said, should it inform my view of Islam, i.e. the religion, the ideology? No, because in the same way... No, in the same way it shouldn't. I, I have no right to my own history. That's what the Liberals say. That's how the Liberals have separated you all from your own history. You have no right to your own history. In the same way, it doesn't... You can't treat... Thank you. You can't treat the whole of Christian... Uh, you can't... Uh, blame the whole of Christianity for the crimes committed in the name of Christianity. Yeah, so, so, so. We can't blame Islam for so all the form, for, So, what for critique of Christianity would you like to form that is rooted to the book? Yeah. Show me, give me a historical critique. Oh, oh, give me, give me, give me. Jews were blamed for the death of Jesus. Let's deal with the anti Semitism and then on that point we're going to have to stop. Okay? Despite the, 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 the rough handling that you may feel that you've received, just so you know, I rough handle anyone that comes I know, I've watched many of your videos. Okay. Don't you? So don't, don't take it personally. No, I don't. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm rough handling I your just, ideas, not you as a I person. Just, you I, seem like I, a nice no, guy. No, no, I am a nice guy. You are, a nice guy. <laughs> you are a nice guy. You seem like a much nicer guy now than when you're not on the planet. So, let, let's just... Let, let, so, when you are. So, let's just deal with the anti-Semitism. I am not here trying to defend the anti-semitism of the church like okay. i'm not trying to like, yeah hold on one second same thing. hold on one second the gospels do not legitimize anti-semitism against the church people read it that way certainly christians did certainly christians did and that intensified during the crusades when christians were fighting for their freedom when they were fighting for their liberty, when they were fighting for their brothers and sisters, and where they were fighting to stop Muslims conquering Christian lands. That's what the Crusades were about. But in that process, anti-Semitism intensified, and I reject it. The difference between Islam and Christianity is this, that the Christian faith, because it is an institutional faith, it means that we have a corporate memory. And that corporate memory can learn from when it makes mistakes in the past. And it can inform how we live in the present. Okay? Islam, by contrast, is a religion of the book. Which means that if Allah said it, it can't be changed. Okay? It can't be reinterpreted. But he also said that you've got, it also says in the Quran, you've got to read the whole thing. You can't just pick and choose the lines. Uh, you are not the only one, you're not the only one that has read an entire translation of the Quran, so have I. No, I know, I appreciate it. Okay? That. But here's but, where... But I don't take little lines out of context. It, no, you do. When, when you they, do. When they are in context... No, that is exactly what you did. When you talked about, let there be no compulsion in religion, you took it out of context. Yeah. How did I? You took it out of context because Muslims don't believe in a Quran-only Islam. They believe that the Quran is informed by the reading of the Hadith. And those Hadith are Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih al-Muslim. Those are the two primary sources. And it says in Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih al-Muslim, that if someone chooses a religion other than Islam, they should be killed. No, no, no. No, no, no. The Quran no, no, no. is primary. No, no. If someone just in the Hadith no, no. comes the the they don't use Why the Hadith. Why did people live together all across the Middle East? They didn't. All through they Africa. Did. They didn't. Very happily. Christians Why? were oppressed in those lands. Bob, they were oppressed in those lands. You don't know the history. You can make up anything you want to stand in. This is church history, bro. Have a look at facts. Libya, Libya was Christian when the Muslims conquered it. Egypt was Christians when the Muslims conquered it. Palestine was Christian when the Muslims conquered it. Syria was Christian when Muslims conquered it. Jordan was Christian when Muslims conquered it. Morocco was Christian when Muslims conquered it. Tunisia was Christian when Muslims conquered it. Spain was Christian when Muslims conquered it. Greece was Christian when Muslims conquered it. Turkey was Christian when Muslims conquered it. Armenia was Christian when Muslims conquered it. Georgia was Christian when Muslims conquered it. Bulgaria was Christian when Muslims conquered it. 
Transylvania, was Christian, Muslims Muslims was Christian when Muslims conquered it. Romania was Christian when Muslims conquered it. Macedonia was Christian when Muslims conquered it. Albania was Christian when Muslims conquered it. Sicily was Christian when Muslims conquered it. Go and learn your history. You have been separated from your history by the liberal state. So after those dates, was everybody Muslim in them places? No. Right. You've just answered the question. And the question, Christians were that? oppressed, Very weren't simple. they? So Very simple. Well, they were oppressed. No, no, they, they were. They to... What's your evidence? Why didn't they What's move? What's your evidence? Why didn't they leave? They did. They didn't leave. Yes, they, they did. Because they still lived The Christians. Today. When the Christians. Do. You don't know your we history. Know they do. When the Christians. Oh, you're talking about oh, when, they waffling. And why should they? Like why should they move? Why should they move? You're just, you're just, bro. You're just another ignorant. You're just another ignorant man who doesn't know his history. A statement, yeah? You're just he another ignorant man who doesn't know his history. Religion. Then you said the Muslims took over everywhere as if there's a compulsion to religion. But no one reverted to Islam, did they? They stayed what they was. On the contrary, the Jews, the the on Muslims, the contrary, very happy you have confused two land. things. You have confused well, no, two no, things. No, the Romans read Christianity you're by the Were Cri Explain to me. Confusion. Explain to me why in, why in Egypt the Christians were forced to wear clothes that would identify them as Christians. They had to wear special belts that meant that everyone could see that they were a Christian and that's what happened in the medieval period. Tell me, what European power in the 1940s did that to Jews? Answer? I mean, you know that everyone answer. 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 Why is he reluctant to answer? Because why do you? Have to why is he reluctant to answer? Knows. What's That's the two liberal plus mindset? Two. What's two plus two? What is the group? What's two plus what two? Group? What's two plus two? Why won't Tell you answer? Tell me. Do you not know? It's four. Now answer, answer my question. The Nazi. Thank you. So. What, tell me, why did the Muslims in Egypt demand that the Christians needed to seek permission from the Caliph to do something as simple as repairs to their church? Why did they command the Christians that they couldn't have their entrances on the main high street, they had to have it on the side road? You're going everywhere by the question. The man made a statement. He said there's no compulsion to religion within the Quran. Then you come across with a statement about said, apostasy. Took over all the lands. About apostasy. No, no, one moment. no you're confused, no, 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 mate. No, no. I contradicted you. I contradicted you. you. But, and I'm contradicting you again because you're wrong. My point to this brother, my brother, my point to this brother was about him saying there's no compulsion in religion and the apostasy laws of Islam that he agrees are compulsion. Did I did I use the hadith to contradict your argument about you saying there's no compulsion in religion? You can't use the hadith. I can't use the hadith. I can't use the hadith. Here we have. Two liberal progressives, no, 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 two liberal no, apologists, no, two liberal no, left-wing no, progressives, no, suddenly no, experts no, on Islam, no, telling me no, I can't no, use the hadiths no, when every single when Muslim Sunni no, here no, would tell me no, that I can. No, no you can. Oh, I can now. I can. Except when it contradicts your argument. Except when it makes you look silly. it contradicts the Quran. The Muslim Sunnis do it, bro. And they've done it for 1400 years. And that is why I am saying that my history informs my critique. I'd like to, I'd like to hear uh, Muslim Sunni, did you just say? Uh, Sunni. To defend themselves. Oh, they will give a defense. No, here, like, you, if you're going to make a claim like go that, on. I'm not going to oh. defend something. Go and talk oh, about the apostasy laws. Oh. Go and talk about the apostasy oh. laws to a Muslim. I'm sure you have the temperament that you'll believe everything they tell you and you'll agree with every defense they give. You won't criticize it. You'll defend the murdering of Christians. Yeah. You won't criticize the Muslims for murdering Christians. Videos of religion. Yeah. Go and debate. He'll follow you. Go and debate Muslims about the apostasy laws. I've done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you. We want to see you debate. We want to see you debate Muslims about the apostasy laws and watch how they defend them. Unless they're a Shia, of course. In which case, they throw the whole hadith literature under the bus. I've got to go, guys. I'm sorry. It was a real pleasure debating with you. You're a good interlocutor. You really are. But I would say to you, man, you gotta pick up that Bible again. <laughs> you gotta pick up that Bible again. You have been brainwashed. Mate. The uh, God brainwashed. of Abraham is a warlord, criminal, 
madman. What is your belief? Uh, I'm spiritual. I don't. I don't say that there's, no, there's no God. Are you uh, neo pagan? I, I'm agnostic, but I'm. I, I wouldn't be a spiritual agnostic. I'd say so. Yeah. So okay. I'd, I, I, I'd say that the most likely thing is the simulation theory. You're all in a computer game now, and the person playing doesn't even know we're having these conversations. He sees we're all interacting. <laughs> It's my belief. It's crazy. It is as crazy. crazy as a man is resurrecting a from the dead or Muhammad. Well, maybe, off on a wing maybe next time we meet so. here at the corner, we can debate the resurrection. I mean, there is a possibility in the simulation theory that this event occurred. This event could have occurred. But the, I'm not saying the question that you have to. <laughs> but but yeah. at the same time, if it had occurred, <laughs> the, the person playing the computer game would not be up there wanting worship. He just thought, oh, that's my character, and he died. Here he gets a second life. Right, bro, like, I gotta so, go. So, I don't know, like... I'll leave you with that final thought. <laughs> Take care.